Okay, welcome to this video on complex numbers. So complex numbers are new topics. We're going to start off with just kind of an intro because they're they're a bit different from other maths kind of basically. So if you ever hear someone talk about imaginary numbers, that's complex numbers. Okay, um, so I'll just go intro just to make sure you're not staring at a blank screen. Intro. Um, so first thing we're just going to look at the square root of something. Okay, so the square root of nine. We know that that's whatever number that multiplied by itself. So three by three is equal to 9, so that means the square root of 9 is equal to 3, okay? Um, so we're going to look at a few different cases, so minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to plus 9, because minus by minus is positive. Minus 3 multiplied by plus 3 is equal to minus 9, because minus by positive is negative. Um, plus 3 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 9. And the last one then, give me a second, uh, plus 3 by plus 3 is equal to 9, which I already have written up there. Anyway, so all of these are equal to, so there's either 9 or minus 9. So the next question I'm going to ask you is, what is the square root of minus 9 equal to? And the answer is, well, there's, there, there isn't really an answer. Um, because there's no number that you multiply by itself to get minus 9. So we've seen all these examples, 3 and minus 3 obviously aren't the same number, so you can't multiply them by themselves to get minus 9. So there isn't an answer, basically. So the way they do it is they use kind of a trick. One of the rules of thirds, so I'll go to yellow for this. So one of the rules of thirds says that the square root of AB is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B. So you can look at the videos on thirds to get this explained. Basically, the square root of one thing multiplied by the square root of another thing, stick them both in together. So I'm going to simplify this then into the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of minus 1. Okay, so we're up here. Uh, yeah. So that's all good. That's following our rule of thirds up here that I just went away. That's following our rule of thirds. So I'll keep going with that. The square root of 9, we know, is 3. So we have 3 by the square root of minus 1. Okay. Now, we still have the same problem with the square root of minus 1. There's nothing that the square root of minus 1, there, there's no answer to it, basically. Okay. So what we do is, is we change that to 3 multiplied by i. Okay. So i is equal to the square root of minus 1, basically. And then 3 multiplied by i, we just write that as 3i. Okay, so if you put that into your calculator, minus 9, or the square root of minus 9, you're going to get an error in your calculator. But now you know how to work it out for yourself. So it's always the same thing. You just do the square root of one thing by the square root of minus 1. That's if you get a minus square root um, is equal to 3i, basically. Okay, and we're going to look next at what, what we can do with this 3i, what complex numbers means. They're not just useless. They're actually they can be pretty useful. And I'll just say one thing as well. You'll always see beside a question... If you see i, you'll see this i squared is equal to minus 1. So it'll generally be asked in the question. Uh, and that's just the same way as saying i is equal to the square root of minus 1. Just because they don't want to write i is equal to the square root of minus 1. It doesn't actually make sense uh, because they couldn't figure it out. So they just kind of said this, basically. But it means the same thing anyway. So that's intro to complex numbers. Thank you.